Hello and welcome. Today we will provide a brief overview of the AADE Data Analysis of Participants system, known as DAPS. My name is Joanna and I'll be your guide today. First, let's go over some basic information about DAPS. DAPS is a performance management system that will allow your diabetes prevention program to better monitor and evaluate data for the National Diabetes Prevention Program, or the National DPP. The purpose of this tool is to provide your program with real-time data and statistics on sites, cohorts, and individual participants. DAPS gives you the ability to streamline and track data collection, extraction, reporting, and participant progress. DAPS is secure, convenient, and comprehensive. It is a cloud-based, HIPAA-compliant, password-protected, and accessible 24-7. And most importantly, you own the data. Before we navigate the site, it's important to understand the various user roles. There are two types of users, organizational administrative users and site users. The organizational user is typically the DPP program coordinator. This role will be able to see participant level data, aggregate data for any participant, cohort, site, or the organization itself. These users can also invite other site users. The site user is the other type of role within DAPS. A site user is typically a lifestyle coach that is inputting information. This role is helpful if an organization has multiple program locations and wants to see data at a specific site. They will only be able to see activity for that specific location and participant data they add. Site users will not be able to see participant information input by others. With a DAP subscription, organizations can add an unlimited number of site users. This is a benefit for programs that have DPP occurring in multiple locations with multiple coaches. Now that we've gone over the functionality of DAPS and the types of users, let's dive in and see what it can really do for your program. The DAPS dashboard provides at a glance, live analysis of an organization level, site level, cohort level, and participant level data in a printy friendly format. DAPS has five primary tabs, participants, session data, analytics and reporting, input data, and organizational admin and site admin tabs. Let's look at each tab in detail. The participants tabs allow you to see patient data, including eligibility determinant, initial weight and BMI tracking, goal weight, demographic information, and lifestyle coach notes. Find individual participants from each site and cohort with an easy to use search bar. Let's take a look at the sample participant file by clicking on the easy to find participant ID. Viewing an individual participant chart includes participant tracking and printable status reports. View demographic information, initial weight and BMI, weight loss to date, physician information, general coach notes, insurance and employer information, blood test values, session attendance, and individual session coach notes. You also have optional fields such as adding A1C information, reimbursement information, and whether or not this person was referred by a physician. Lastly, does your participant's physician want a progress update? With one easy click, you can print the participant's chart and send it to their referring physician or give it to the participants so they can see how they are progressing towards their individual goals. Now let's move on to the Session Data tab. The Session Data tab allows you to view data in a variety of different formats. View your organization's DPRP details and associate sites. Want to know how many total cohorts and participants are running at each individual site? It's just that easy to identify when using the DAP system. Programs can also quickly view all the participants associated with an individual cohort. To maintain CDC recognition, lifestyle change programs must submit evaluation data to CDC. This data includes factors such as participant demographics, attendance, weight loss progress, and physical activity minutes. When you're ready to submit evaluation data, users are able to easily export data in the required CSV format to the CDC DPRP submission. DAPS ensures that your data is in the correct file format, ensures variables have the correct names and are in the correct order, and excludes any blank cells. 
Once you download the Excel spreadsheet, you are ready to submit through CBC's web portal. Now we will navigate over the Analytics and Reporting tab. In the Analytics and Reporting tab, you will get a high-level view of your program and how it compares to the CBC standards. Detailed, up-to-the-minute information on how your program is going gives you the data you need to understand what can be improved. Filter by cohort, site, or organization and obtain a direct comparison in real time to CDC's DPRP standards. Users have the ability to manipulate data ranges for various filters and views. This report also gives you access to additional analytics for marketing and funding tracking. DAPS gives demographic breakdowns, retention rates, participant coverage, physician referral, and more. By allowing you to know more about your participants, you can take steps to grow and enhance your program. De-identified reporting is available for intelligent marketing, payer, and grant funding requirements. All of this information can be downloaded into an Excel sheet. You can also upload an existing DPRP Excel sheet at any time. It's just that easy. Also, if you are no longer using a location or a participant is no longer in your program, you have the ability to archive sites and cohorts for later use or delete locations if they're no longer active. Now let's explore the Input Data tab. Has your program already been implementing the National DPP program and has passed data? DAPS allows for easy importing of all information with just a few clicks using the Import from CSV button. The Input Data tab also allows you to enter both new and existing participants, allowing for easy documenting and filing. To enter a new participant, insert a unique de-identified code into the Participant Number section. Identify them with the cohort and complete the required field. If you aren't sure if your participant meets the eligibility requirements, or if you accidentally input the wrong information, no worries. DAPS has been formatted to reduce the potential for data entry errors, giving users warning notifications ahead of time. Once you have completed the user's profile, it's as simple as hitting the Submit button. Add new sessions as they occur by entering the participant's unique de-identified participant ID. For existing participants, DAPS already has your intake information on file and only requires you to enter a few items after each educational session you conduct. Input information on session dates, weight, physical activity minutes, type of delivery, and any additional notes you have. The participant file is updated after each session. The User tab allows you to invite users, create sites, and create new cohorts, which are linked with a specific location. And that wraps up our brief overview of DAPS. If you are looking for a tool that makes your life easier and your program more effective, then this is your system. DAPS is secure, convenient, and comprehensive. And remember, you own the data. To gain access to DAPS and many other prevention tools, sign up for the AADE Prevention Network today. Just go to www.preventionsimplified.org. Lastly, AADE has added a new subscription option. The sponsor level subscription is now available for entities that oversee multiple DPP organizations. Please contact AADE for more information. You can contact us at dpp at aadenet.org.